Sure. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. All right, let's yes. let's go to the next race here. I want to talk about a fun one because you, you sent me this text on, on Saturday, and it was a good text. And whenever I get a good text from Gordon, I think it needs to be highlighted on the pod. And it was about Jordy Beam. We're going to go to the distance races now. Uh, it was about Jordy Beamish in the in the 3K. I want to talk first about Beamish, and then we'll get into the other names in this field. But he wins his 3K in a New Zealand record with a huge last lap, last couple laps, actually came from way back to get past Tier and Hawker. Um, explain the the Jordy Beamish viewing experience to me, Gordon. Yeah, I was like, watching Jordy run races is like watching five seasons of an HBO drama all in one sitting. You know, there's so many highs and lows. There's so many rope dopes There's like, oh my God, they killed the main character. Oh my God, now actually it wasn't true. This whole thing. Because there's these moments when you're like, all right, he looks, he looks strong. And then, then he is like responsible for the entire pack falling off the mm -hmm. pacer because everyone is behind him. <laughs> and he's like, dude, what you doing? You're slowing down. And then all these runners have to pass him. And you're like thinking like, oh, Jordy Beamish, man. He's in over his head. You know, season three, not looking good. And then all of a yeah. sudden, he's like, no, I'm back in it. But you're like, no, nah, it's a little too little too late. Sorry, sir. We're, not, we're done. Season four, it's over. And then season five, he comes in crazy. And yeah. you're like, all right, wow, he's kicking well. He's going to finish with the top group. But then he goes on the inside and he wins. And he closes in 25 seconds, which is one second to two seconds better than everyone else who finished in that top group and finished yeah. on the inside. And I was just like, dude, this guy, you're watching him and you think he's in, he's out. He's, it's just like, dude, ow. It's, it's entertaining as hell because yeah. now you know he could be being lapped. And you're like, oh, well, it's Jordy Beamish, guys. Just wait. He's going he's gonna to make that kick. <laughs> uh, but this kind of – I mean, he had this similar type of race in a 3K in college, I remember. It was yep. either in a 3K or 5K at BU where he was mm -hmm. just fart licking his race. It's crazy. It's like on and off. He literally fart licked that last like four laps. He probably, <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. And, and his victory lap too, because he, he was going so quick, he couldn't even slow down for the victory lap and just blasted around another, another 200. It looks like someone had him timed it at 38 seconds. He always looks like he's one stride, one second, away from being out of it and then he rallies yeah. and then 200 meters later or 50 meters later he's on the brink of elimination again and then he rallies and then somehow he ends up being in decent position with 200 to go and then your eyes are just naturally drawn to him he's in fifth because he's behind tier hawker grijalva and mance and you're like okay maybe he can do something with this and then he starts going and then it's just like a freight train and then with 100 to go, then you're betting on him. But you're right. The four, five, six laps previous to that, you're just thinking, okay, he's going to get dropped. Oh, he's barely in the shot. Is he in the screen? Okay, hold on. Where is he? One, two, three, four. Okay, he's in seventh. Okay, he's back on. All right, now he's off again. It, you're right. Being his coach would be tough. A lot of respect to, to Dathan Ritzenheim because he's probably – they should have tracked his heart rate through, yeah, throughout the race. <laughs> Ritz's heart rate would have been all over the place watching Beamish. Yeah, I mean, it literally looks like he's doing a fart lick. I'm not even kidding. It's just like... he, well, is, he forgets. He's like, yeah, oh, wait, I got to... Oh, they left? They got to oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you think, like... Because when he falls off, it looks like he is struggling to hold on. And it's like, I don't yeah. have it today. Like, I can't do mm -hmm. it. They're making a move. I'm just... Yeah. My legs are... Like, his legs look heavy. It looks like he's, yeah. he's, got, he's got, like, heavy legs. And then you're like, all right. And then all of a sudden, it's like this guy can, like, he has, like, a stride like Usain Bolt where it, every one stride is, like, everyone else's <laughs> two strides. And you're like, what's yeah. going on? And he just looks like he's just, like, moonwalking around the track. And is it, like, him, like, being strategic with his energy? Like, is he purposely doing this? I don't know. And where he's like, all right, know, I'm going to – go off because then I could add that extra layer of energy to my final lap, which would be more valuable. I don't, it's crazy. I don't know because, well, I'm looking at just like every 
200 split here, and he did stay pretty consistent. There was a, a 32 about one mile in where everybody else was running 31s. But, yeah, he was just sort of running his own his own Travis, race. Click on the 200. Click on the 200 meter splits have, in the upper left corner. I'll read it. I'll read it. 30, 31, 31, 31, 30.8, 31, 31, 6, 32, 2, 31, 6, 31, 6, 31, 4, 30.9, 30.6, 28.0, 30, and then 25.7 for the last 200. So he was consistent. I think it's a lot yeah. of times he's just, he's just not being overly reactionary to the moves that are being made in the race, I think is, is what's happening. So I think it is it is a roller coaster of emotions, but it's a smart race plan being disguised as this big roller coaster. So I mean, if you're talking about energy conservation, I think that works, especially on indoors, because you're not making a whole bunch of weird moves and running a whole bunch of extra distance. And that helps when you get down to that final quarter. And that's why you're able to go 28 and then 25 the last two laps. Yeah, looking at this now, the competitors made it look like he was turning it on and off when really the competitors they were, speeding up. were speeding up too much and then dying, you know, so that Jordy Beamish, man, he's, yeah. the, he's, 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 he was the smartest man in the room that day. That's what he was. Yeah. Well, what did you